Welcome to the demo on Allegro Free Physical Viewer. Using Allegro Free Physical Viewer you can open, view, and plot databases without any license. To get started with the new Free Physical Viewer, download the application from the Allegro Downloads page on Cadence.com. If you are a returning user, you'll notice that the new user interface has an optimized workflow and you can review your designs with maximum efficiency. In the redesigned free viewer, all panes are displayed and you do not need to switch between panes while reviewing your design. You can quickly filter, search, change the visibility and color assignments of any design object or layer. To see the complete power of the free viewer, let's open a sample board design shipped with this application. As soon as the design is loaded, all the panes are populated with design-specific data, that includes layers and objects information. All the active tabs, filters, and hyperlinks are displayed in the blue. The current state of visibility and color assignment for each database object is displayed in the visibility pane. Notice that the search field is empty, and the search window displays total count of all the components, nets, pins, traces, shapes, and vias that are used in the design. When nothing is selected in the design canvas, the properties pane displays the status of the design, along with design parameters and grid settings. Selecting an object on the canvas brings up its properties. To clear the selection, click anywhere in the blank space. You can also view the constraints applied to an object in the properties pane. Let's select a net and open the constraints section of the properties pane to view its constraints. In the selection filter, you can select specific objects, say pins. You will now see the properties of the selected pin only. To find out what constraints are applied between the objects, let's select two objects. A pin is already selected so let's select a via. The only constraint right now between the objects is, pin to via spacing. Let's select the pin again to view its properties. Property values in blue are links, and when clicked, act as search strings. Let's click the pad stack value. The free viewer searches for the hyperlink value and lists all the pins that have the same pad stacks and their total count. To navigate to an object, say a net, move to its tab and double click a row. The net 1v2 is highlighted in the design canvas. Let's select another net conference underscore SW2 for verifying its path and properties. You can also change the color of this net. Color coding helps you identify and resolve any issue with the net. To do so, open the nets tab of the visibility pane. Expand the nets section and locate the conference underscore SW2 net. Click the color box and choose a color. You can also change the highlight pattern. The color of the net has changed. To improve visibility, Turn on the shadow mode by pressing the ALT key. With the ALT key you can also measure the distance between two objects. Press and hold the ALT key and select objects. You can see that when you select a new object, the distance between objects dynamically changes. To view the complete design, use zoom fit command from the view menu. The clear all option in the nets tab restores to original color assignments. The color applied to a parent net will also be applied to its children. Let's select a match group and change its color. You can see the member nets inherit the color from the match group. All the member nets of this group are on an inner signal layer only. To look at them closely, you can hide the other layers from the layers section. Here in the layers section, the design layers you see currently are from the primary stack up. This sample design has both rigid and flex areas. You can choose a different stack up to review. You can reset the visibility of all the database objects on all the layers. To control the display, use the toggle icon to change the visibility of individual objects and layers. For convenience, a header level toggle option is also available. Changing the layer color is now a single click operation. You can see the GND layer color changes to red from green. To refine the design canvas, use layer filters. You can identify a layer type just by looking at the icons in the last column. 
When focusing on design objects, the Objects and Areas subsection is useful. From here you can filter both objects and layers. The color box in this section acts as a toggle, and controls the visibility of an object on a layer. Different colored boxes represent, different states of visibilities. Solid color box indicates an object is visible on that layer. Hollow box with colored outline indicates that object is not visible on that layer. Hollow box with gray outline indicates that object is not visible on all the layers, and have different colors assigned to each layer. Solid gray box indicates that object is visible on all layers with different or the same colors are assigned to object on each layer. To change the color of a pin, via, or any other object, right-click and choose another color from the color palette. Sometimes you may want to see keep in areas or place bound region of components. You can select them in the geometry subsection and set their visibility. The color of any geometry can also be changed the same way as we did for the layers and nets. If your design has user defined subclasses, they are listed in the last section. In the general tab, you can set the graphic settings at the design level. You can choose to view unfilled pads to improve display performance. Similarly, you can control on-screen display of net labels. Or adjust the opacity of the traces. That brings us to the end of this demo. You can see that locating design objects and reviewing designs is now much easier. To know more about Allegro Free Physical Viewer, refer to the product documentation.